you'd come out dancing. You can count on me. Yeah. <laughs> now, I didn't see you at that rock concert. You are uh, you weren't there. Yeah, I was. Really? Yeah. yeah. I was cleaning up afterwards. Yeah. Remember me? The, yeah. The mics and... Yeah, I was gone by then. I left oh. as soon as it was over to beat the traffic. That's thinking ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, you're a homebody like me, aren't you? Absolutely. And yes. How come? Because it's better there. It's safer right. there. It's, Isn't it? It's home. Yes. You know? That's everyone should just stay home and watch this show. <laughs> right? I agree. Yeah. And but you have you actually have a legitimate reason to stay home. You have a baby. Absolutely. That's the number one reason. And and how old is, is your child now? Is it a, a a boy or a girl child? A boy child named Griffin, who's Griffin. Uh, fifteen months old now. Fifteen months? Yes. When do you stop counting by months? At what age? I think it goes by shoe size after that. Really? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> is it? Um well he's old enough now to sort of speak. Really? But not say words exactly, more just kind of articulation north. <laughs> Noises, you know, like that. That's adorable. But we can kind of communicate with each other still. How? Well, uh, we speak to each other in each other's mouth. What? I could demonstrate if you. What are you doing? <laughs> I'll take one. This, this seems like it'll be interesting. Oh, open. Uh huh. You have to do it to me. <laughs> he loves it. I bet he d I love it. Do it again. <laughs> well, don't look. <laughs> he must love that. It's how we get along. Oh. I Next. love you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, it, it's how you get along, like, for how long? There oh. Can you see that? His hair is a little long now, so we gave him a, a trim. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's water. Thank you. Um, but you he's got a, a cowboy hat on. You can't really see. That's to keep the hair out of his eyes. But we, <laughs> we gave it a trim in front. The hat is further back than his bangs, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, the problem is, is it came out looking a little bit like a mullet. Oh, yeah? A little baby mullet. You have another picture of a mullet? Mm. You're a good daddy that you have all these pictures. Oh. <laughs> that is kind of, but that's a go cute. Go to the next one. Babies, there we go. Babies can get away with mullets, though. They're... Didn't you used to have one? Yeah. <laughs> do I have, did. Do we have a picture of that, too? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, but I wasn't a baby, you know. Oh, that's that's uh, I actually chose that, which is sad. Um, yeah. Well, you've had some interesting hairstyles too. That what looked kind? like a walking steak. What? <laughs> what? what? You've been gold dipped in lame or something. No, this is just around the house with your wife, or what were you? Um... It's good to be a homebody. Yeah. <laughs> now, what kind of diet do you go on to be able to? Because I, I would assume cement. This, uh, <laughs> what? Now, what were you eating? This is George of the Jungle, right? Yeah, around that period of life. Right. Yeah. So to have that kind of to limit the calorie intake and do that physical activity, I would think, would be really hard. Well, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> it, is, it is really hard, I would imagine. Well, nothing out of the ordinary. Just uh, exercise a lot and reduce the amount of food that you eat. I mean, it's hard to answer that question because then other people will go, oh, hey, maybe that's what I should do, and then they might yeah. hurt themselves. So I'm reticent to right. really give an answer. You're saying you're not a doctor? Basically, yes. yes. Right. You'll, uh, <laughs> Now, um, but you do, you do look good. Well, thank you. You look really you good. You look good yourself. And, thank you. And your, and your wife, and, and, and she had the baby, and she looks great. Thank you. I remember I, the first time I met you with her, she had, it, she, she was enormous. Right. Huge. She was pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, she was pregnant, but like, that was too pregnant. It was way too, you want that thing out of there at that point. This, this kid, like, weighed in at 11 pounds. No. 
born at 11 pounds? Well, it was 10, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and then around the operating room, they went, called at 11. It's 11. <laughs> 11. Yeah. Wow. Good I was point. like 17 pounds, 5 ounces. I was like, <laughs> I was huge. Um, and how did, how did you meet uh, Afton is your wife's name, yes. right? How did you meet Afton? We were uh, at a barbecue, um, and I had my uh, back to the wall on account of me being a homebody. Mm -hmm. And a uh, dog bounded into the room and uh, came straight up to me and stuck her snout right between the pockets, front pockets. Right. Were you wearing this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So that's, the dog's going to go right for that, thinking there's something in there. That looks like treats are in there or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they yeah. call them grape smugglers. <laughs> what? Never mind. All right. So the dog goes for your little area, and Afton came in the room and she took one look at me and she said, "Oh, Wiley, what did you find?" <laughs> And that's how we were introduced. Let's that's bring so Wiley out. Jeff will bring <laughs> Wiley. 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 Come here, girl. Now, why did you bring? I mean, I love that you brought Wiley, but you brought Wiley for a specific reason, right? Yeah, just to introduce you and to let her know how much I appreciate her and to show you. Oh, that... I thought you wanted to know what kind of dog it was oh, or something. Right. Well, does anyone know? Because I don't. Yeah, but people always ask you what kind of dog this is. And we're going to have, because people, all we have to do is ask, and we'll get emails like crazy. They help us out when we ask anything. So if you know what kind of dog, I would say it has some collie in her. I'd that, say some that, rabbit, cat, and monkey. Yeah, there's, the, <laughs> yeah, this is monkey fur for sure. This is thick, thick fur. Hey, she's sensitive about that. Yeah. This dog could stand to go on that diet you went on for this George of the Jungle thing. This is, uh, it's a hefty dog. But my dogs are big, too. Want some water? Oh, look at that. We're going to be back with, uh, with more Brendan Fraser right after this. We are back with Brendan Fraser. Now, you're, you're fighting with nobody there. There's nothing there when you're doing that. Big invisible man. And what, you just get thrown back? <laughs> you just throw yourself you back? Know, I won't get too close. But, yeah. you, you know, you want to behave as if there's someone there. Right. And behave the way you did in grade school that got you sent to the principal's office. Right. And now they pay you for it. But right. um, it's a very good movie because the animation's uh, sincere to the way, hair dog hair, the way it was done in the 30s and 40s and 50s. If you get a chance to see it, it's good fun. You do so many different things. I'm always amazed, and you, you have such good choices. Gods and Monsters, you were amazing in that. You were, you. You're so good. Um, now, and you're a photographer. You have an exhibit that's up downtown, right. and, and so you take pictures as well. Yeah, I took a few, actually, before I got here. I got here early. Yeah, and, I um, know. I, I uh, uh, heard a little bit about that. I walked into one of these rooms, and... Uh, Got to check out this. This is oh. a, some PA around here who's looking for girls. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's like girls that. are in one room. Yeah. yeah, they were in one room. That was them. That, that was like um, a shrieking fest when I opened the door. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Then there's another one. I asked for a bar of um, Irish Spring soap in my dressing room. Right. Did we I, get it wrong? I think I got it wrong. It, it got like a. Oh, there's an Irishman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's in the. Yeah. But he was springing up and down. Right, and so... Like, I'm sure he would have... And, and then I caught this other lady who was... Well, she was... I wasn't ready. You just came in, <laughs> and I was getting makeup, and but I... But she was really polite, and she said, wrong room, down the yeah. hall to the left. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you really are... Your stuff is amazing. This is, uh, this is oh. what's up in... Uh, it's a photo exhibit at 24th Street Theater through November 23rd. This is what... Who is this right here? Oh, that's My Michael Caine down there. Uh-huh. Oscar winner... Michael Caine. This is in Vietnam. This uh, sequence we shot in a bunker. Um, there's uh, some archival quality prints that are put up that are all to benefit this theater. It has an outreach program for uh, kids uh, who are challenged. And um, this is a shot from Monkey Bone, the movie that I think nine people saw? Yeah. <laughs> Including ten people. That's yeah. according yeah. to her. Uh, maybe she saw it twice. Uh, thank you. Anyway, uh, this is a giant inflatable well. Macy's Parade size monkey over the Museum of Natural History, and it looked like something you don't see every day, so well, I took a picture of it. You know? Well, I would love to see more of these. So it's up at uh, the 24th Street That's right. Uh, through November 23rd. Uh, Looney Tunes is uh, back in action, is in theaters now. The photo exhibit is uh, where we said, and thank you so much, Brendan, for being thank here. You. Thank, right. you. thank you so much. Thank you so much.